In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are now continuing our little uh, exposition, <laughs> talk, disquisition, a little talk about uh, the first mystery of the Holy Rosary. We can just remind ourselves that the first mystery of the Holy Rosary is my mystery, your mystery. Okay, well, but we... Uh, we're, we're, now in Nazareth, all these countries have their pictures. We're now going to Honduras. So what I'll do is I'll let this run. I'll, I'll let this run while, I, while I'm talking. So you can look at this or you can look at me. It's uh, up to you. Honduras is South America, so look at that. And uh, as I say, all these stories, this, for example, here, uh, Honduras, you see, the second mystery of the Holy Rosary, you see, look, one, two, oh yeah, the first mystery is the Annunciation, okay, we're, we're, we're now, we're now going, we're, we're talking about the Annunciation. The Annunciation is the announcement of God to Mary to say she would be the mother of Jesus, okay. Now, this announcement, proclamation, happens to each of us, because each of us, we are all going about our mundane business. Somebody go to the office, somebody go to jail, somebody go to the, I don't know, go to the laboratory <laughs> or do all sorts of things. People are doing all sorts of normal things. But then, sooner or later, sooner or later, we will hear the word Jesus. And we will have to make a, 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 a decision. Like us, in this case, is Our Lady. She said, she said, okay, I, I, she hears, you are going to be the mother of Jesus. And, and God says the same to me. He says, Father Alan, you are going to be the mother of Jesus. How can I be the mother of Jesus? Well, in the, uh, one person explains it. I am conceived through my ear. <laughs> How can you be conceived through your ear? Because the word of God... The, the G, Jesus came, the, the second person of the Blessed Trinity came and was in the womb of Mary. But in my case, I don't have a womb as far as I, can, uh, I know. I don't think I have a womb. But what we have is a soul. The Word of God comes into our ears and you can say we conceive Jesus in us. Now we can reject but if we reject Jesus, we are je rejecting life. And what is the alternative? The alternative is to spend billions at NASA making a rocket to go to some uh, far off piece of, piece of rock and say, and we have all these things, oh yes, uh, I see here, this is a piece of rock. Uh, I think life may be here. Oh, tell the BBC, we have found uh, some water on a rock millions of miles away. We have spent trillions of dollars to make this rocket and we found water. Oh, there may be life. There may be life. Okay, that's fair enough. That's very interesting. But unfortunately, they, they won't find life, real life, because life is supernatural life. If they find life, so what? If they find amoebas or they find tadpoles in a, some distant planet, that's not going to solve my problem because I'm going to die. I have some life left in me now. I can move my fingers. But in two months, I want the real life. And the real life is Jesus Christ. So I, said, I make a choice. Okay, I can, I can rot in my grave or say, Jesus, you are my life. So we'll just, uh, and then I will have supernatural life. I will live forever. Seems to me, this, one, one choice is I believe in a rock with some water. Okay, a rock matter. Or I can say, I believe in, in uh, a supernatural life, Jesus Christ. Well, I, I, I don't want to spend all my life looking at a rock. Oh, this rock will probably have some life in it. Oh, very interesting. Oh, okay, you can spend your... I prefer to go to the Catholic Church, go to Mass, and have life in my hand. Okay? So, it's a very simple choice. Okay, now here, we say, okay, we have here 12 stars. That's the, what, what is the 12 stars? The 12 stars <laughs> are the 12 Israelite tribes, the 12 stars round the, the, the head of Mary, the 12 stars symbolize the Catholic Church. And incidentally, 
we have all this business about Brexit and the European Union. What is the sign of the European Union? The sign of the European Union is a blue flag with 12 stars. What are those 12 stars? They are the 12 stars of the Apostles. So the European Union is, was created by the first 12 Catholic, they were basically Catholic people. They started the European Union. The European Union was a product of the Catholic Church. And the only way for Brexit and Grexit and Mixit and all the other paraphernalia is to all of us to go back to the Catholic Church which created Europe. And well, that's the whole, the only way to keep together. Otherwise, we have a communist affair, Macron, we're all mixed up. We'll leave Europe, go into Europe, and it's ridiculous. The only way to solve the problem of the whole world of unity is to become Catholics. That's the, for 1,500 years, all the, of the people we know at the time, they were all Catholics, and they had the same culture, they had the same ideas, they believed in Jesus. 500 years ago, there was a funny chap called Luther, I don't want to insult him, but he made a big, big mistake. He bust up the Catholic Church <laughs> and bust up the whole thing. For 1,500 years, we won. Why, why were they won? Look, you see, look here. Look, uh, you have, this is, this is Italy, okay. I'm not sure, the Madonna della Ligeria, I don't know, the Our Lady, so we have this Madonna, the singer, but in this case, the Madonna means Our Lady, Our Lady, the real. And, and we just said here, look, you see, look. You've got the whole world in your hand. Jesus is the king of the world, you see. And here he has, you have the whole world in your hands. Okay, now, I am an old fogey, sitting in Taipei, wasting time, most of the time, eating, 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 I don't know, neuro mian, uh, eating funny things, but, I have the whole world in my hand. <laughs> Jesus has the whole, I, Father Alan, and you have the whole world in your hand. Now, do you think I'm kidding? Well, if you go to tomorrow morning, you get up in the morning, make the effort, and the, the priest will give you Jesus. You have Holy Communion. He put, it used to be on the lips because it's the whole world. But now the Catholics, they go up to the priest uh, and uh, they, they, give, they give some bread, offer it to Jesus, and wine and offer it to Jesus. And that becomes the body and blood of Christ. And the priest put in my hand the whole world. So every Catholic has the whole world in his hand. The whole world in your hand. Now, in other words, each of us are living a heavenly, supernatural life. So the only way, we've just said it, the only way to have complete unity is becoming Catholics. The only way to, that I, my non, my unimportant, miserable sort of farcical life, <laughs> I don't know what I've done in the last 82 years, I can have meaning is if I am baptized, I'm joined with Jesus, then I have the whole world in my hand because I share God's will, well, I share God's will, I share God's divinity, I share God's life. So I become a superman, okay, so I have the whole world in my hands. Very simple. No other method. Otherwise, if I don't go to communion, I have nothing in my hand except maybe Kellogg's cornflakes <laughs> or maybe, maybe marmalade and jam or something, I don't know what, but uh, maybe Indian curry, okay? But in this case, you see, look, okay, that's the halo. Okay, I have the whole world in my hands. All right, now... We'll go to the next. These pictures that we just stated, in the church in uh, the, the church in Nazareth, each country, look at the Nostra Signora della Presentazione. Well, that's the presentation. But anyway, this is a, a, a country in South America, and they give this picture. Now, what, what is this? This is the moon. Okay, not only do we have the whole world in our hands, you know, Every country wants to go, I want to go to the moon. Oh, we are so fantastic. Look at this rocket. Look at this rocket. Sit on this rocket, and we're all going to go to the moon. Okay, then we'll go to the moon. Hey, we see up there, who's standing? Our lady is standing on the moon. So you guys, <laughs> you're a bit late. If you look at, if you look at uh, the apocalypse, 
uh, the last book in the Old Testament, uh, it says here that a great sign appeared in the heaven. There was a woman standing on the moon. Oh, and she had a cloak. Was a, she was standing on the moon. So this is the sign. So now <laughs> she was standing on the moon. They say ah, Armstrong. Armstrong was the first man on the moon. Well, they're wrong because Our Lady was standing up there <laughs> a long time ago. So he, here we have. You go. You go to the moon. So the the moon is just just symbolizes Our Lady. You see, look here. Okay, this is Ecuador, uh, and she has a cloak. She's surrounded by the sun. The sun. Uh, why does the sun go on shining, you see? So, what is she doing? What's Our Lady doing? She's saying, look, Trump, uh, Father Grimes with some Mao Zedong, wake up. The answer is my child Jesus. If you believe in him, all the world's troubles will be solved. Believe in Jesus and that's it. You see, okay, that's Ecuador. E e Here we are. All right. Okay. Ukraine. Okay, that's very topical, Ukraine. Well, just out of interest, why, why, why is Ukraine so important? We, we know the Russians have invaded Ukraine, Crimea, because Mr. Putin said, we want Ukraine. Why, why uh, is Russia so interested in the Ukraine? Well, the reason is very simple, because uh, Christianity came to Russia from Ukraine, com from Kiev. There was a prince, he was, his name was Vladimir, Prince Vladimir. He was a bigamist and a wretch and a, and a rat of all, you know, he had hundreds of concubines. <laughs> and then, but he, he realized one thing, he says, we're on the wrong track. What are we going to do? He said, okay, he invited the Muslims to come and they began, Allah, they said, no, no, no. They, they said, I can't drink. Well, the Ukrainians have to drink, so we're not going to become Muslims. Okay. All right. Then they asked other people, and they asked the Jews, and they asked Jews who were doing other different things. And eventually, the 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 Eastern the Eastern Church. At the time, they were Catholics. They came to uh, Kiev, and the, and, the, and Vladimir was sitting here, and they had this Eastern Mass. We all know. And we've got to give it to the Eastern Church. They had mass, and you had all these beards with the long beards, and they're going, oh, oh my God, we are going to believe in this. It's so wonderful. They said, we just go to the mass here. It's like going to heaven. So we can just remember that. So going to heaven in the Eastern Church, this, this, in the in the Western Church, we have simplified the mass, uh, and the simplified the altar, and simplified anything, and we're left with more most notes. So we've got to get, we've got to give it to the Eastern Church. They maintained the traditions of uh, beautiful things, the beautiful altar cloths, uh, beautiful vestments, beautiful singing, and they maintained. And we must confess, the Catholic Church has gone a bit over the top, making everything so simple that it becomes boring. So anyway, when Vladimir Prince, he saw Mass in the Eastern Rite, he was bowled over. He said, we are all these, all of us are going to believe in this because the Mass is so beautiful. We can just remember this. He, they were bowled down by the beauty of the Mass. So it is our duty, for example, if, if I'm a Catholic, I've got to go to my Catholic Church and say, Father McGinty, your church is too simple. They, we want color, we want drama. If you get drama, we will come. But if you just sit here, and you say, in the name of the Father, you say, I can say that. Look, there's no color, there's no music. So we've got to say, the Catholic Church, wake up. Make the Mass more colorful, more mysterious. And the whole world will come, because the Mass is the secret of the universe. But we just have to admit, uh, I'm, as a Catholic priest, I mean, we've made the thing so boring. No, no color, no music. And of course, if we have faith, we believe it. But you can't expect a young guy go to the Catholic Church and see it. So, we got to thank uh, Vladimir. So the, anyway, that's your, so I'll go off now. Uh, let's make the mass the center of the universe. You see here, look, Ukraine. Uh, okay, that's that's why Ukraine. If you go to Ukraine and you go to Russia, everybody goes to mass. Wait, why? Because it's so colorful. Okay.